I just woke up this morning. <laughs> Then, as I open my eyes, there are times that uh, God will refuse to give direct prophecy, but He will love to prophesy through the Bible. So, as I open my Bible, this day just came, and I read through God's Psalms. I God says, speaking about Nigeria. Now, uh, something is about to happen. You no, know, I, I, I've been repeating it. I've been repeating it here. I've been repeating it here. Even last year, I repeated it over and over again and again that revival will be leaving Africa. Revival will be leaving Africa. And if you look for the past 200 years, eh, every other African country that is enjoying revival so very well, they take the source. God brought them into the land of Nigeria. And God used some ministers there to impact them back to their nation. Now, if you look at Nigeria, <laughs> there are things that God is exposing now everywhere from the government to the church. Revival is leaving the church of Nigeria. Revival is leaving Nigeria. And once revival leaves Nigeria, I'm very sorry, if revival leaves Nigeria, then revival has left Africa. Yes. When revival leaves Nigeria, then revival has left Africa. Now, uh, <laughs> it is just something that has to happen. I think Jesus said uh, the gospel will be preached. This good news about him, it will preach all over the world with power before it comes not so. Exactly. So, every continent in the world has to enjoy this revival. This preaching and teaching with power. And revival is saying bye bye to Africa, it is going to Europe. Revival is going to Europe. And you begin to see eh, the ministers of God in Nigeria, those ones who are very renowned that we know, you will come to understand with time that revival is leaving Nigeria. Let me just put it that way. Then you will see that eh, it will be by those spiritual students, those spiritual songs that T.P. Joshua has raised. God will establish them, just a few of them in Nigeria and some part of Africa so that if you as a minister of God, if you want to start <laughs> you have to go there. You have to go there. It's just, a, it's just something spiritual that has been happening in the past. Now, if you see the children of Idaosa, God established them well and those ministers of God from all over Africa, God established them through them. Now, the sons of Idaosa are going. Now, the very few of Joshua, God is about to establish around Africa. There will be very few. But uh, the, the, the rest who are now in operation, I don't know how to say this thing, <laughs> but uh, in time to come, you understand what I'm saying. Remember, it's living Africa. It's living Africa, it's, it's going to Europe. We have enjoyed revival in Africa for 200 years. So, the way the Europeans were traveling from Europe into Africa, it's actually synagogue. Now, it should be the Europeans their own time. Africans too should be traveling from Africa to Europe for, for, to see revival, to see preaching and teaching with power. It began in U.S. Now, if you look at U.S., U.S. is like Sodom and Gomorrah, not so. Yes, revival was in U.S. for about 500 years. Now, revival, now Africa has enjoyed the revival. Now, the revival is leaving Africa to Europe. From there to Asia, from Asia to Middle East, the ends of the earth must enjoy this revival before Jesus comes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, eh, we should triple our time of prayer. We should triple our time of fasting. We should triple our time of meditation upon the Word of God. Because let me be very frank to let me be very frank to you. Eh, there will be a time you will look for someone who will give you true teaching. That comes from above. Even just teaching, you will not see it in Africa. Yeah. Just like how the Americans are now crying. Satan church is almost overtaking. The time is coming in Africa where you look for someone to give you true teaching. A minister of God who will give you a pure and short teaching. You will not even see it. Not to talk of power. <laughs> Yes, every continent will enjoy, at the same time, every continent will be humbled. So it's something we should prepare ourselves for. 
is something you should try and say for. 